Hello and welcome to Channel 7's Big League, brought to you, of course, by our sponsors, too. Well, it's Ledcombe Oval today for the first time in 1978 for the game between the home side, the Western Suburbs Magpies, and their opponents for today, the Manly Warringah Sea Eagles. Well, West have had a tough eight days, a hard-fought 1915 uh, win over Canterbury on Saturday week, and an Amco Cup loss to East Midweek has been a bit of a strain. Unfortunately, the extra matches caused injury problems, and they're without their 5-8 Peter Rolls. Graham O'Grady goes into that position and replaces him, and Les Boyd goes into the lock spot. Big Bruce Gibbs made a strong impression since playing his first game in top grade, and adds to the striking power of the forwards, which include two representative possibilities in second rower Jeff Foster and former big Australian prop John Donnelly. Tommy Radonikus continues his great enthusiastic form, and the club must be pleased with the last up display of centre Wayne Smith, who showed great pace against the Bulldogs last week. A very strong physical side, West will put Manly to the test with a vengeance today. Let's have a look now at the Manly lineup. Well, Manly continue again without Max Krillich, whose shoulder dislocation has proved troublesome. The other injured, Graham Eady, whose hand was like a balloon, and tough forward Ray Higgs, whose knee gave trouble after the last match, are both OK and ready for action. The Seagulls have led Parramatta and Balmain on consecutive weeks by large scores, 22 to 4 and 29 to 5. But on each occasion, they've slackened off and allowed their opponents to score late tries and make the score look presentable. This, to me, is a weakness in the side's mental attitude that they'd do well to eradicate before the season is much older. Let's see both sides now as they take the field. And the Western Suburbs side come on the field now. Let's look through this team. A strong one. John Dorohy at fullback. Don Mosley, Buddy Kane. Graham O'Grady at 5'8". Tom Rodonikas halfback. Les Boyd is at lock forward. Jeff Foster and uh, Trevor Reardon in the second row. John Donnelly, Shane Day and Bruce Gibbs make up the front row. The coach, Roy Masters. Well, Graham O'Grady, smaller lock, uh, as lock forwards go, O'Grady has impressed me enormously on each of the three occasions I've seen him play this year. Very mobile and enthusiastic in defence. O'Grady should by now be made uh, the lock forward uh, for the season, but for today he's back to 5'8 to replace the injured Peter Rolls. Well, the Manly side now on the field, and let's look through this team. It's uh, Graham Eady, Tom Mooney, Ray Brannigan, Russell Gardner, Stephen Knight, Alan Thompson, John Gibbs, Terry Randall, Ray Higgs, Bruce Walker, John Harvey, John Gray, Ian Thompson. And the coach is Frank Stant, the new city coach. What price this big winger for a rep spot this year? Tom Mooney is currently playing the best football of his career. He's lost no pace, and is there a winger around who enjoys scoring tries as much as he does? If you know one, let me know. The referee, Mr. Braybrook. Western Suburbs running from left to right in their traditional black uniform, Manly in the white uniform, with the stripes, maroon shorts, receiving the ball. Mooney straight away in possession, up to the quarter line. This will be tough. Terry Randall, straight and hard, swinging right arm from John Donnelly, and a couple of punches going in. And there's the start of it. Well, there's a little bit going in there and a few of those lads might get walked right from the word go. Yes, well, this is a nasty one. Well, the referee in a hell of a position in a, a melee like that. What's he do? Does he spoil a game of football by walking people who do stupid things early on or... Does he ignore it and maybe it's going to flare up again? The start of it came the way Randall came in, uh, just carrying the ball. Let's see that again. Now here's Randall, charging ahead. And there was the swinging right arm. And every picture tells a story. Well, they're psyched up and uh, ready to fire on this all-important match. Penalty goes to Manly. Nobody's going to be walked. But that, uh, I said it was going to be tough. Well, <laughs> that's, uh, that was going to be probably the masterpiece of understatement. Edie kicking for touch on the grandstand side of the ground. Absolutely beautiful conditions here at Lidcombe. The ground looking a picture. Very sunny. Stephen Knight. 
shuddering Hawth. His forward size. Higgs making a break from the dummy half position. Gibbs and uh, Donnelly there to meet him. There's another penalty against West inside the five. Now the ploy has been that uh, John Gray take the early kicks. You can see he's around the corner style of kicker. That's a gut looking kick. Didn't get that at all. Goes over the dead ball line, so play will restart from the quarter line. Dorahi driving that deep. Mooney's underneath it. Takes it very well. He'll bring it back hard and strong. Higgs running from dummy half. Makes a gain of about 12 metres. Foster the tackler with Gibbs. Randall. Gray. Ian Thompson right through. Got a pass away. It's gone to ground. Gitto in possession. Well, the break was great, the pass was bad. Well, there's a penalty. Oh, and they're coming in on Donnelly now. There was Randall with a little bit of a get square, I think. And it's on again. Well, these are pretty ugly scenes. There's two of them, Knight and Gibbs, had each other in headlocks there, probably to stop the other from going in. Well, I don't know how long the referee can avoid doing something about this. That one started this way. They're two tough guys, these fellas. Let's have a look at that from head on. Or from the camera behind the action. Don Dorothy up there too, the fullback. It was a penalty going to Western Suburbs. Well, one would be confused for thinking that this is... Uh, the Colosseum in Rome, but it's not. It's downtown Lipcomb. Another penalty. This time Manly infringing. Dorothy. Four metres inside the Manly quarter. About 15 metres in from the sideline. That's a goal. Opening blood to the western suburb side. They lead after about five minutes. Two points to... Not a walker on the burst. A little bit of a kick in the head then. Randall on the blind side he goes. Ian Thompson. Ten metres outside their quarter. Stephen Knight a dummy half. Gray. Walker. Standing a bit shallow there to get any pace up. Higgs, Gray, dummying outside. Got a pass away. I think West have got the ball. Gibbs has it. Thompson tried to come off him. That's six to go. It was kicked. O'Grady. Still going. The Randall tackle puts him down. Shane Day. Donnelly. Well, if you like your football, tough. Oh, he's right through the gap there. That was Les Boyd, and only a despairing tackle got him down. Shane Day running, but without support on the blind side of that ruck. West bunched up on the open side there. Mosley leaves it behind as Donnelly. Dorahy goes back to get it. Oh, he's got right through. And the pass has gone to ground. That was a try in the offing there. Had a pass been successfully taken and given but Dorahi's pass was not a good one Manly off the hook Gray blimey that's like running into a, a brick wall Edie Ian Thompson got a pass away to Harvey he got his pass away to Walker it's switched back to Heaps and the referee says knock on well it's been all western suburbs territorially since the start of this game. Penalty to West. Dorahi from five metres outside the Manly quarter line. He's probably 18 metres off centre. Breeze apparently favouring him slightly. 
was unsuccessful. Bit of a let off. The score remains. Western Suburbs 2, Manly nil. Had about 12 minutes of play. Huge amount of streamers and crepe paper lying around the ground. It's uh, very much the in thing these days for supporters to bring their colours. Wayne Smith, who had a good game, passed up for Western Suburbs. Ron Gitto. Rodonicus. Donnelly. Oh, blimey, they're throwing each other, throwing each other's bodies into the tackles here. O'Grady. Bruce Gibbs, he's nearly through. But he's lost the ball. It's the uh, problem that ball distributors have, of course. Well, that was kicked back, and uh, Mooney does a repair job for Manly, but trying to get the ball away in impossible situations. That's uh, Reardon being penalised for holding a Manly player down there, according to the signal. Palm of the hand extended downwards. Graham O'Grady, where did he come from, Barry? Uh, he comes from West. He actually played in Wollongong for a while. He was Illawarra Player of the Year two years ago. Now, was he a 5'8 down there? Yes, yes. Gibbs, Thompson, Brannigan, the dummy. No big pubs in any of these tackles. Gibbs, Gray, holding up the pass onto Randall. Smith the tackler. Midway between the halfway line and the west quarter line. Walker, a nice... Pass this, uh, Stephen Knight loses the ball on the quarter line, so West back in possession through Wayne Smith. Don Lee with a new lease of life under coach Roy Masters, playing very enthusiastically. Rodonigas, O'Grady, that's a bad pass, but Mosley does well to pick it up, and Stephen Knight backslams him. Foster. Just tending to bunch up a bit around the ruck on the open side there. Rodonicus, O'Grady, Gibbs, got a pass away nicely to get home. Out to Wayne Smith, he's got some pace this fella. Gets a pass back inside, it's gone to ground. Oh, Boyd got heavily tackled there by Edie. And he's lost the ball, and Hulk comes up holding his head, and I don't blame him. Stephen Knight. Foster the tackler. West leading two points to nil. We've had about uh, 15 minutes of play in this first half. A torrid, hard opening stance into this game between West and Manly Warringah. Ray Higgs, Sean Gibbs, Alan Thompson to Gartner. Trying to use his pace, but uh, he and Smith have matched pretty well for pace, I'd imagine. Running it up the blind side. Randall with a grubber kick, and it's a good one. Much more thoughtful Terry Randall this year. Uh, his captaincy uh, responsibilities of I think, made him, rounded him off nicely as a player. Manly scrumbling. Thompson, Mooney. Mooney through. Beautiful pass out to Stephen Knight. Gets a pass back inside to Gartner. Gartner streaming away. Got it under Gibbs. Gibbs is nearly into the clear. Tackled beautifully on the quarter line by Bruce, uh, by Trevor Reid. Hicks out to Brannigan. Brannigan's through one tackle. Gibbs out to Gartner. Up and away he goes, trying to use that pace, but uh, the defence equal to the task on that occasion. Beatty on the blind side to Randall. Ian Thompson loses the ball. Well, he had a bad game a couple of weeks ago in which the ball was constantly knocked out of his hands. Played very well against Balmain last week. Just tends to try to do too much with the ball sometimes. There's Ian Thompson. Fine tackle. 
Chris Walker, that man. West in their quarter. Shane Day being driven backwards by Randall. We've got to pass away well to Foster. Inside to John Dorahy. Nicely on to Buddy Kane. Good football by Western Suburbs. Rodonikas up the middle. Takes the tackle of Johnny Gibbs. Foster, last tackle coming up now. Wayne Smith. And a good passage of play. How many positions has Les Boyd played in the last month for Western Suburbs? Three. He's played in the centre. He started off in the centre and then he went to the second row for the MK Cup and back to lock today. Nice feel there by Shane Day. O'Grady has it. After a long pass from Rodonikas, Gartner the tackler. Gitto swivels. And a classic round the ankles type tackle from Trevor, Terry Randall. He's going to be penalised because he was the man behind the tackler. So Gitto conned him into that one. Rodonikas not taking the kick for touch, taking the tap. The pass away to Foster. I think that's a, a mistake by Tom. I think they should take the... Uh, Yardage on offer from penalties. Not only, it's his pass away. Rodonigas. O'Grady. Back to Gibbs. Foster. Another magnificent Randall tackle. Higgs is hurt. And the inside the five. Ray Higgs down there mixed up in that. Doing our usual award today, the player we judge to be the best player in the match will be called the Tui's Man of the Match and receive $300 compliments of that organisation. Appear on Sports Action the following Sunday to receive his award at the year's end. We'll judge all the weekly award winners. The man we judge to be the best for the year will receive from City Ford a beautiful Ford Fairmont motor car. Sorry. Looks good. It's there. A great kick by John Dorothy. That'll be a manly penalty. It's against Rodonikas for an incorrect feed. Being told what he did. 12 minutes left in this first half in which Western Suburbs have scored the only points. Two penalty goals. The Wills target of five tries today, or in this round of football, round seven, is worth $3,000. Stephen Knight, straight and hard, oh they pick him up and put him down, great defence, Ray, Walker on the burst, trying to reef the ball out of his hands, still on the quarter line, Randall, Gray, back to Harvey, Ian Thompson, he's had the ball knocked out of his hands again, this is becoming a bit too repetitive for the young fella, there's a touch judge in, did you see something, Barry Ross? Yes, uh, yes Redden, and uh, I think it's Terry Randall again. Now, that, there was the uh, incident in which Thompson had the ball knocked from his hands. So now the play went away, as did my eyes, following the play along the line. So, well, I mean, there's a penalty going to Manly, but we'll continue on. Well, Edie doesn't... Uh, Usually miss from this area, but goal kick is a dicey business. 25 metres out directly in front. You can see it from our camera behind the action. Well, I think the streamers and flags that have thrown up in the air of maroon and white colour indicate that that was a manly success. 4 2, Western Suburbs lead. It's clean heel to Western Suburbs. Boyd. Caught hard there by Terry Randall. Rodonigas, Dorothy, O'Grady, props. Dorothy, Donnelly, busted one. Only about 12 metres away now. Rodonigas, good pass out there to Gino, and right round the ankles was Gardner. Dorahi chips one over the top. He's been decked. The referee says no penalty. Let's see that again. The linesman's coming in, however. Yes, the shoulder charge after. I think Dorahi probably made a bit of a meal of it, but uh, nonetheless, it's a penalty. No doubt about that. Six 
points to two. Western Suburbs lead. Edmund Kamoval. Family coach, Frank Stamp. With the club treasurer, Doug Daly. I think it's Reg Austin, the sprint oh, I'm sorry, Reg Austin, yes. Day, that looked a trifle full with that pass. Dorothy. Rodonicus. Foster lobs one. It's gone to ground over the sideline. No, it hasn't gone over the sideline. Gibbs has got it. About 20 seconds to go to half time. Stephen Knight. Well, there you are. The strength of the little bloke. Tommy Rodonicus picked Knight up and uh, drove him in. It's about 16 stone, and Tom's about probably 11 stone ringing wet. Alan Thompson with a beautiful break up over the quarter line. A long floating pass out to Mooney, it's been called forward. The intention was great, but there's the half-time hooter going in the background. So at the half-time break, we've got a scoreline that reads this way. Western Suburbs 6, Manly 2. And the scores for Western Suburbs, three penalty goals to John Dorothy, and one penalty goal for Manly to Graham Neal. So we'll be back after a break with all the action of the second half of Sevens Big League. The referee gets them underway now with John Gray kicking off. It's just gone the required distance. Oh, very nearly taken on the full. But it's an up-on according to the referee. I read Richard Bankstown, the Super News are required to report to an area just below the scoreboard and there's been another set of car keys found. It's penalty to Western Suburbs against Gray for striking prematurely. Statistics at this stage, Barry Ross. Uh, the, that's the 11th penalty to West, and Manly have only received six, and the scrums are 5-4 West Way. So plenty of possession of the Western Suburbs side, who've uh, at this point in time shaken off whatever aftermath there was of the uh, Amco Cup. Gibbs is halfway through, gets a pass away today, that's good football. Donnelly, Radonikus wrapped up. Alan Thompson, the tackler. Boyd, the dummy, and runs from dummy half. Strong player. Ten metres now. He's lost the ball. Alan Thompson has it. Out to Johnny Gibbs. Overhead pass to Gartner. And to Stephen Knight. Gibbs a dummy half. Alan Thompson. John Gray. Harvey. Beattie, who's not uh, come into the play all that much in the first half, starting to come into the three-quarter line. John Gray, straight through the middle of the ruck, takes a high tackle. Alan Thompson, Johnny Gibbs, Ray Brannigan. Good pass out to Gartner, who's not going anywhere, though, with the defence swarming in on him. Last tackle. Gibbs. Little kick, oh, he's been decked by Foster. The referee says play on. Oh, well, that appeared to be a uh, bit of inconsistency there. Well, play on. Shane Day. Tommy Rodonicus. Oh, very close to being through the gap there. 15 metres out from Manley's line, uh, from Manley's quarter. Donnelly running very erect into the ruck there. Shane Day. Dorothy. Breeze freshening just a little bit here at Lipton, but still beautiful conditions for Donicus. O'Grady. Gibbs standing out among the centres. That's Bruce Gibbs I was referring to, the uh, big prop forward. Yes. Chalk and cheese, the two Gibbses by comparison in physique. Again, Gray down low there. It's a Rodonicus ball. Chris Walker heavily backslams Tom Rodonicus. Boyd on the blind side to O'Grady. Inside nicely to Mosley. 
as he fell over backwards then trying to get past the tackle. O'Grady. Higgs with a round the leg tackle. Mosley. Radonikas. Dorothy. Wayne Smith chipped legitimately by Gartner who comes again and misses him for the second time. That'll be six to go. The referee says Stephen Knight touched it. He was quite right. Chabarian. Shane Doe. Bruce Gibbs. Foster. Right through. Away to Chabarian. They're only about uh, eight metres away now from the Manly line and looking good. Foster running from dummy half. Bruce Gibbs has a go. Oh, he's going to score an easy one. Well, the manly defence just folded up and fell right apart there. And big Bruce Gibbs used his 16 stone plus bump to go over virtually without a hand being laid upon him until the last despairing bit when he was actually over the line. Look at this, right through. Terrible defence. Now let's see it from head on. You'll see exactly what I mean. The dummy taken. He's swivelled. It's an old move. Right over the line. Easy. He's a little bit uh, off centre. Maybe 18 or so metres off centre. And there's the backpack eye view of it. It's OK. Western Suburbs 11. Manly Baringa 2. How many kicks and goal has Dorothy had? Uh, five. He's kicked four, four from five. Ten, nine, <coughs> three, one. The crowd. I was well out in my estimate. All right, well, let's see the scrum go down. It's uh, ten metres inside West Half and a penalty against Dave for going down in the scrum. Well, both the hookers have been doing a fair bit of that today. Eating now from about 11 metres inside the west half. It's about 15 metres off centre. And that's the shot. Moves in. It's successful. Western Suburbs 11. Four. Back to Seven's Big League in just a moment. Yes, he does, but uh, not a remarkable game. Still, he had a little angle to fire for on that occasion. Ian Thompson, Alan Thompson, Gray, Gartner. Gartner not able to get himself into the clear at all in this match. Higgs, Walker. West players are defending like Trojans, they really are. Alan Thompson, Ian Thompson, nicely passed to Edie. Edie got a pass away, it's been knocked through, Dorothy has it. He's evaded one, two. Alan Thompson back slams him hard. They're about uh, 12 metres inside West's half. Foster and uh, I think Edie having Edie. a minor altercation there. Oh, blimey. Donnelly withstanding the charge of Harvey there in defence. Alan Thompson receiving treatment just 10, 10 metres in the uh, west side of halfway. Gibbs loses the ball. Higgs has it. Loses it. Brannigan has it. It's out to Harvey. Harvey going straight and hard. Got a pass inside. Magnificently pulled in by Edie. Edie's going to go through the tackle and score. Now he's in a touch. Oh, he'll never go closer. I think the referee was prepared to award that, but let's see that again. Beautifully pulled in. Now, this was a great run by Harvey. He got himself through the defence there, got his arms free, and there was the pull-in, one-handed. Now, watch Clare carefully. Through the tackle. There's Foster. Yes, I think he touched the sideline. And from front on, there's the pass again. Edie doing that great job to pull it in. There's Dorothy's tackle. Yes, I'm sure he touched the chalk line. Time running out for Manly. 23 minutes to go. They've uh, got a 
deficit of 11 points to four as West win another scrum. Gitto evades one tackle. Mosley's got it. It's offside. Well, little doubt about that. Mosley, uh, as they say in the sprint business, broke. Stephen Knight asking his skipper Terry uh, Randall what to do. Kicks for touch. It's on the quarter line now. Ian Thompson, Stephen Knight straight and hard. About 22 metres out. Higgs makes a good little gain of about five metres. Or maybe more. Crisscross move. John Gray. Let his pass go very late there. Walker took it all right, Gibbs. Floats a long one out to Gardner. Brennigan. Oh, intercept. Will they get him? Bobby Kane's off. He's up to halfway. Stops, drops, goes backwards. Gets a pass back infield to Wayne Smith. Clever stuff. Wayne Smith. Oh, he's decked him. He's off. Stephen Knight's off. He's been waved from the field, but he hasn't gone yet. Well, here it is again. Stephen Knight looming in from the right. And as he's... Oh, yes, very high and very, very illegal. And Stephen Knight getting a strong round of booing as he goes off. Here it is again. Wayne Smith going cross field, and that's as bad a one as I've seen. I'm not suggesting for one minute that Knight's a, a player that would uh, deliberately try to maim somebody. He's a clean player, as the West players, uh, West fans would know, because he played for the club. But that was a reflex thing that got right out of hand. Twenty minutes to go. Manly a man short. They have a bit of a Barney, a bit of a dust up over there in the crowd, by the looks of things. Natives are really getting restless here today. Policeman uh, coming over the field. Let's get back to the football. It's there. Well, blimey, that just dropped over, but what a magnificent kick. Dorothy increasing Manley's lead, 13 points to four, and a look of despair there on Frank Stanton's face. 17 minutes to go. Higgs. It's a technique Manly have adopted from kickoffs, knocking the ball backwards. Long pass out to Ray Brannigan. Steps. Rodonigas underneath there. Tom Mooney. It's a pass away to Gibbs. Gibbs elects to run. First time he's had a run in the match. And guess who was there to assist with the tackle? Tommy Rodonigas. Ray Brannigan. On Thompson, John Harvey, the pass is on the ground, it's been kicked through, it'll be a Western Suburbs ball. Well, it's gone anywhere. Mosley did very well persistently to uh, chase that right across field and get it for Western Suburbs. Trevor Reid. This Western Suburbs pack of, uh, I think, got over the top of the Manly Six today. What a big difference there is from the Amco Cup uh, just four nights ago. Yes, you couldn't recognise the two teams. Shane Day, O'Grady, Radonigas, Gibbs. Got a pass away, but it's gone to ground. Dora, he's rectified his error by, I'm sorry, O'Grady. Uh, I'll get that right, it's Boyd. I do apologise for the first mistake, but O'Grady and uh, Boyd do look a bit alike facially, and sometimes in the spur of the moment you can call them incorrectly, but they're uh, not really alike in physique. Facially, yes. Boyd standing out of the scrum too. Quick hands, Western Suburbs, Boyd. A strong game has Boyd. 
Wayne Smith. Good by one leg. Oh, Grady. One of the good players too. He evades Gray's tackle. It's going beautifully. Gets a pass back inside to Foster. Foster then on back to O'Grady. Back to Shane Day. They're putting it together. It's great football. Rodonicus. Wayne Smith, a long floating pass. Who's it gone to? It's gone nowhere. It's gone over the sideline. What an anti-climax. The crowd all stood. How they sit slowly. 25 coming on for Manly. Great cross. That's to get some ball. Now who comes off? Manly scrum win, Gibbs away to Edie. Edie, always good for some ground gain. He's uh, a powerful man. Randall, Alan Thompson. Boy! Tommy Rodonicus giving every inch. Not a dangerous high tackle. That's a penalty. Against uh, Les Boyd for failing to allow the Manly player to his feet to play the ball. Edie's kick is a good one. Repeating 13-4, the Western Suburbs lead. Simon Booth coming out on the field now. There's a different tactic. Gibbs. Mostly evades Gibbs. Gartner is there with a high tackle to pull him down. Donnelly. And Dorothy to O'Grady. The little fella's picked up and pushed back about seven yards, but uh, he's okay. Shane Dunn. 10 metres west side of halfway. The sun gone down and it's starting to get a bit gloomy. Not for western suburbs, they're doing it cool. Really bright and sunny for them. A great big Gibbs bleeding from a cut over the eye. Back into Dorothy. Out to Stephen Blythe. Running in tons of space. Pass has been intercepted. Gibbs has taken it. Got a pass away to Greg Cross, the replacement hooker who's come on. Time running fair and square out for the Sea Eagles. They've had their feathers plucked today. Thompson eating. Great defence by West. I think that's the thing that's impressed me most about them today. Liam Thompson. Nicely to Randall. He's but Gustam on a uh, Gartner. One of the rare occasions he's found himself in any space. Hicks. Thompson. Gibbs, beautiful pass out to Brannigan. Oh, good heavens, what a terrible pass. Well, no wonder. Now, that's uh, Simon Booth coming on. Terry Randall coming off. So the tackling machine, Terry Randall, walks from the field as uh, captain, sits down beside his coach, Frank Stanton. And Graham Eady kicks for touch. Now then, can they score a try? Ray Brannigan goes very close to going right through there. He's only about two metres away. Ray Higgs, no way through that defence. He's there, Ian Thompson, from a great cross pass. And it's probably too late, but it'll make it uh, an interesting last five minutes or so. 13 points to seven. Western Suburbs lead. The kick and goal from Edie to follow. Let's see that again. It was just a simple crisscross. West, who tackled so magnificently, finally proved that they were human by weakening for that little split second. Tom Manning. Cross. I think we've got five and a half 
minutes to go. Higgs. Bruce Walker on the blind side to Ian Thompson. They'll need to be uh, a little bit more constructive with the ball than they're being at the moment. Gibbs. Alan Thompson. Gartner's dropped it. Regain. It wasn't a good pass, but uh, he seemed to get it in his hands okay, but play now in a very dangerous position. It's going to be a West heel, is it? Well, Radonica showed his experience then to steal the ball from Gibbs. Trevor in. In the last five minutes now, Rex. Okay. Radonicus. Gino leaves it behind. No knock on, says the referee. John Gray, the tackler there. Play only 20 metres out from the Manly line. Less now, 10 metres. Rodonicus, Donnelly throwing the dummy on the inside. Dorothy, away to Gibbs. Got a pass away to Dorothy. At the Trevor Reardon, he's oh, very close to gapping them there. Last tackle. No, uh, yes, that was it. Three minutes to go. 13 points to seven. A certain Magpie win now to uh, go into equal second place. Gibbs, caught, only about a yard from the line. Radonicus has come out well on top of this little duel between these two today. Gibbs had a quiet day for him. Chris Walker. That scrum made, uh, gave West a 12-7 uh, lead in this department and the penalties are 13 all. Again, uh, Greg Cross, the replacement hooker, making a sprint. He's got Ray Branning and was pulled right out of the way there. It's a penalty. Donnelly going to be spoken to for uh, holding on to Ray Brannigan. Uh, 10 metres inside the Western Suburbs line. And they would have to score twice to get out of this predicament. That's not going to happen. Gardner. Boyd gives him a bit of a, a face lock to uh, improve his looks. Higgs on the burst. And they have stuck to their guns a man short. Give them credit. But they've been outplayed today. There's a great pass going to... Uh, Ian Thompson, by G, can run to and, and uh, Simon Booth put him down. Manly have come up with the ball, but uh, it'll be a knock-on. The referee wanting that scrum wheeled around, he says, get it round. Both the hookers have got loose arms at the moment. There's a Radonicus scrum win, and I use the term advisedly. Boyd, way to O'Grady, Wayne Smith. Took the tackle, about a minute to go. Boyd, who's played very strongly for Western Suburbs today, came of age, I think. John Dorothy. It's the off-the-shoulder look. Donnelly, Wayne Smith leaves it behind. Pulls it in. Who's got it? Brannigan. John Gray. To Edie. Edie caught by the hair there in part of that tackle. The hooter will go fairly shortly. Oh, Higgs, that was a hard one. Liz Boyd will be penalised. Gibbs takes the tap. Long floating pass out to Gartner. 
Got the chance. Oh, blah. blimey, Charlie. Gartner's pass. I thought he was passing it to his father sitting in the stand there. There's another scrum win to Manly, just as we get into the dying stages. Barry Ross, give us the statistics and the scorers. Well, West 13 come from a try from Bruce Gibbs and five goals from seven attempts to John Dore. Manly seven, Ian Thompson a try, Graham Moody two goals from three attempts, and of course John Gray missed his only attempt. Uh, the, the penalties favour Manly now, 15 to 13, and the scrums are 13 to 7, uh, Shane Day of Westway. Simon Booth getting uh, there for Hooter, and a good and worthy win to the Western Suburbs Magpies against all the predictions by most of the experts, except uh, Roy Masters, who was on our controversy corner panel on sports action today. He naturally tipped his side, but they've proven it's all wrong with a convincing 13 points to 7 win over Manly. Only two tries in the match, one for each side, neither of them very spectacular, but uh, a hard, gruelling game. Little Graham, our great